I hope you all are well and fine. Today we will start with our new topic. Okay, chapter number three. First, I'll not tell you what is the name of the topic. I'll give you some clues or hints. Then you will automatically understand what is the name of the topic. Generally, Earth has two type of motion. What are the motions? First one is the earth or suppose any other object that is fixed at a certain point and it is moving. That means it is not changing its place. That is one motion. Why I am telling motion? Because here the object is moving. And the second one is the object will move and as well as it will change its place. So on the first thing, this object will not change its position. Yes, it is only moving. That means it is the rotation. It is only spinning or rotating. That means it is rotation. And when the object is changing its place, that means it is revolution. So, today we will discuss about the rotation of earth's surface. Under this rotation, we will discuss the three things. First one is the definition. What is the definition of rotation? It is very simple. Rotation is nothing but the spinning of the earth on its own axis from west to east direction once in 24 hours. Understood? So basically rotation means it is spinning of earth's surface on the basis of earth's own axis. Now what is axis? Imagine earth as a human body. Okay, every vertebrate animals, they have their backbone or vertebrate column to move, to walk like this. Earth has also a backbone which supports the earth well. That is known as axis. But unlike us, earth's backbone is not straight. It is little bit tilted like this. Okay. Suppose this is the vertical plane and this is the horizontal plane. Okay, so vertical plane and horizontal plane. This earth backbone which we call the earth axis, it is 23 and a half degree tilted from the vertical line and it is 66 and a half degree inclined from the horizontal line. Understood what is earth's axis? So it is not the straight line. It is basically the tilted one. So now we have understood what is the definition of the rotation. Rotation is spinning of earth's surface on the basis of its own axis. From which direction? From base to east. And time it is 24 hours approximately. There are some precise time. But you can say that is 24 hours. Now from this definition, you can easily identify the features of Earth's rotation. So now our second point is the features or the characteristics. Now features. In this features, first I can say that is the direction. Earth rotates from which to which direction? Yes, from west to east direction. Number one, done. Number two is speed. First was direction or direction. Second is speed. Now we know that at the middle of the Earth's surface, there is one great circle situated. That is zero degree or equator. At this equator, the Earth's rotation speed is maximum. Understood? So here, the speed is maximum. And when we are moving towards northern side and southern side, the rotational speed getting decreased. Understood? So first is direction. Second one is speed. Number three is time. So how much time it takes to rotate? Basically, it takes 23 hours, 56 minutes and 4.09 seconds. 
approximately it is 24 hours. Understood? 23 hours, 56 minutes, 4.09 seconds, approximately 24 hours. And another basic thing is there that is the axis or the tilted axis of the earth's surface. So I have already discussed what is the tilted axis or the inclined axis. It is basically an imaginary line. Basically on the surface of earth we can't see this such uh, this kind of axis. Okay. So it is basically an imaginary line which is known as the backbone of the earth and it is tilted from the vertical line 23 and a half degree from the horizontal line 66 and a half degree. Okay, so we have already completed our feature part. Now, the third point is, what are the effects? This is very important because the consequences of this rotation is huge on our environment as well as on our earth surface. Under this effect, first point is day and night. Okay, so... Without rotation, this phenomena cannot be happened. So what is the daytime and what is the nighttime? Suppose this is our earth surface and this is the sun. The part of the earth surface that is facing towards sun, it will experience daytime and the opposite of this will experience nighttime. It is very easy. So it cannot happen suddenly. Okay. It cannot happen suddenly because there are some procedure. When the sun cast its light to in the sky, then we call dawn. At 12 noon, sun is located at 90 degree of our head. That is sun is overhead. That is moon time. Then at the twilight time, sun will disappear from this sky. So it is twilight. Now, number D is in night, completely there is no light, so completely darkness will be there. So it is known as night. So we can segregate a whole day into these four parts. One is dawn, then noon, then twilight, after that night. Understood day and night? Okay. Now, the second point is, that is, the sunrise and sunset. Sunset. What is sunrise? When uh, the uh, part of our earth's surface, it will get the sunlight. That means, there, we can say, it is the Sunlight portion, right? Suppose it is the part of the earth's surface and here sun. Now, earth rotates from west to east, right? Suppose this is the earth and it is rotating like this and sun is situated here. So, when it is rotating, automatically this part will get the sunlight. So, this portion will move from darkness into light. That means sunrise will be there. Again, when the part of a earth surface will move away from the sun right that is sunset there will be sunset understood so first point is day and night second point is sunrise and sunset now number 3 is the duration of daytime and nighttime duration we all know that in our earth surface everywhere the daytime and nighttime can't be same why? Due to the rotation of our earth surface. Now, number four is Coriolis force. Coriolis force. Now, every moving object on our earth surface cannot move in a straight way. Why? Because of a certain type of force that is Coriolis force. Like wind, air, it moves, but it moves in a northern hemisphere in clockwise and in southern hemisphere anti-clockwise. And this Coriolis force can happen with the effect of our rotation. Rotation means it is another force 
that is working on the earth surface and it helps the Coriolis force to act on the moving object of the earth surface. Number five, that is the time duration. Okay, like everywhere in our earth surface, time is not same. When you are at a particular latitude and you are moving towards north and south, time difference will be four minutes. Why four minutes? Because earth rotates once in 24 hours. 24 hours means 1440 minutes. And the total circumference of the earth is 360 degree. Now, 1440 divided by 360 is equal to 4 minutes. So, from one latitude to another latitude, it time changes like 4 minutes. Understood? So, these are the points of effect. First is daytime and nighttime, then sunrise, sunset. After that, duration of time, then the Coriolis force. And the last one is time. Okay, like uh, when the latitude varies, time will also vary. So, we have already completed what is the definition, what is the features and what is the effect of the rotation. Now, another topic is there that is the inclined axis which is the backbone of our earth surface. So, what is this? That is inclined axis. I have already told you that this inclined axis is not vertical. It is not vertical. It is basically tilted one. Due to this, a very important thing is happening in our earth surface that is the length of the daytime and nighttime can be measured or can be determined. How? Now I will show you. Now, see this picture. Okay. This is the vertical axis, but our earth's axis or inclined axis is not vertical. It is like tilted one. Now, sun ray is coming from this side. Okay. This is the equator. This is 23 and a half degree north. That is Tropic of Cancer. Uh, yes, Tropic of Cancer. And here it is 23 and a half degree south. That is Tropic of Capricorn. It is 66 and a half degree north, 66 and a half degree south. It is north pole, it is south pole. Understood? Now just take the points on the surface of the earth. Okay. The D, its corresponding point is D dash, C, C dash, B, B dash. Like this. Now forget about everything. Simply think that sun ray is coming from this side. Okay. On the equator, see the distance of OC and OC dash equal. That means the daytime and nighttime is equal at the equator. That means 24 hours if you divide it into two parts, 12 hours daytime, 12 hours nighttime. Now move towards northern side. This is Tropic of Cancer. It is situated in the northern hemisphere. And Remember one thing, we are speaking about summer time, not winter time. In winter time, the condition will be reverse. Okay. So here, it is Tropic of Cancer. See the sun ray, that is X and B. This portion is getting heat. That means it is the daytime. And night time is B dash X. Which one is bigger? B X, that means daytime. And night time is smaller. Understood? That means C. Everywhere the day, length of the daytime and length of the night time is not same. Why? Due to this inclined axis. But if you were imagine this is a vertical line, then it will be equal, which is not possible. Now move towards north again. It is 66 and a half degree north. Yes. Here A dash and A. It is getting full sunlight throughout the year okay not throughout the basically six months that's why we can say that in north pole and south pole 
three uh, six months is day uh, summer time and six months night or six months they get the sunlight and six months they the basically don't get the sunlight so done a dash a it is daytime now it is about i told about the northern hemisphere now move towards the southern hemisphere same during summer in southern hemisphere daytime is smaller than night time daytime is y d and night time is d dash y here d y it is smaller than that means daytime is smaller than night time understood and in the summer season in the southern hemisphere the entire antarctic circle will be under the night time why because hardly it will get the sun rays but this condition will be completely opposite when you will speak about the winter time so basically what is the importance or the significance of this inclined axis it determines the actual daytime and night time due to this uh, tilted axis the length of daytime and night time is not equal everywhere and because of this any portion of the earth surface cannot be heated throughout the year and cannot be in darkness throughout the year so it is very important so today we have discussed so many things first we discussed about the rotation what is the definition basically the spinning of earth surface on the basis of its axis from west to east direction once in 24 hours second we discuss about the features or the characteristics of this rotation first is direction second speed type and then this important inclined axis then what is inclined axis it is nothing but the imaginary line of the earth's surface which is um, uh, basically 23 and a half degree tilted from vertical line and 66 and a half degree tilted from this vertical line no from the horizontal line yes and then we discuss about the effects of rotation first effect is day and night sunrise sunset duration of time Coriolis force and then the time management after that we came here that inclined axis so you know what is inclined axis and what are the significance i discussed through this diagram due to this in the inclined axis we cannot say that everywhere the length of the daytime and nighttime is same but if if to be a vertical line then everywhere the half portion of the earth will get same amount of sunlight and half portion will remain in darkness which is not possible in real world i hope you will understand this portion next day we will start with revolution thank you